Invoicing Manager runs within Microsoft Excel, uses Excel templates at the front end, and thus enables you to create invoices in an intuitive invoice form. In this quick start tutorial, we'll go through the steps of setting up and using Invoicing Manager. Assume you have downloaded and installed Invoice Manager from Microsoft Store. This is what you see when Invoice Manager launches. The main app contains four pages, Quick Start, Advanced, Add-in, Purchase slash Support. The Quick Start tab introduces how to start using the app. The Advanced tab introduces additional templates and advanced customizations. The Add-in tab allows you to install or uninstall the Excel add-in. Usually, the installation of add-in is automated. If Excel is running when you're installing Invoice Manager, you should visit this tab and install the add-in manually. The Purchase slash Support tab shows licensing status. Make sure the licensing status shows Subscribed. If not, click the Subscribe button to begin your free trial. Now go to the first page, Quick Start. Invoice Manager offers several hundred ready-to-use templates. Here we'll just use the default invoice template first. Click the link in the Install the Default Invoice Template section. The Browse for Folder dialog box appears. Select Desktop and then click Make New Folder. Name the new folder My Invoice. Invoice Manager asks if you want to create a shortcut to the template on the desktop. Choose Yes. This creates a shortcut to the template on the desktop. Now exit the main app, double-click the shortcut to open the template. This is the default invoice template opens in Excel. It's a general-purpose sales invoice template. Click Settings on the Invoice ribbon tab. Go to the Taxes tab. Click and select One Tax. Change the tax name to Sales Tax. Change the tax rate to a proper value. Click Apply and then close the window. This changes the tax cells on the bottom of the Excel invoice form. Click and push down the Design Mode button on the Invoice Ribbon tab. This unprotects the invoice worksheet. Enter your business information, like company name, address, etc. Click Replace Logo Image on the Invoice Ribbon tab. Browse to and open your own logo image. Drag the right bottom corner of the logo image to resize it. Click the Design Mode button again to exit Design Mode. Click Excel Save button to save the changed workbook file. Now let's create an invoice. To pick an existing customer, first click a cell in the Build to section. Click the icon button to show a list of existing customers. Double click on a customer to select it. But if you want to enter new customer information, simply click Clear and New on the invoice worksheet. The Clear and New button clears the entire invoice form. Enter new customer information into the Bill to section. Now click a cell in the Product Detail section. Click the icon button to show a list of defined products. To add one product to the invoice, simply double click it. You can also select one or multiple products and then click Add. Once all the products are selected, click Close. This puts all the selected products on the invoice form. To fill another line, click it and then click the icon button again. Fill in quantities. Click Save to DB. This generates a new invoice number, saves the invoice and then shows the new payment window. If you click close directly or save a smaller amount, the invoice keeps pending. 
If you click Save and the invoice is paid in full, then it is marked as paid. To print the invoice, click the Print button on the invoice worksheet. To preview the print result, click Excel menu File and then Print. You can also email the invoice to the customer directly by clicking Extract slash Email. But before that, the email configuration must be set if you haven't done that yet. Click Settings. Go to the Extract slash Email tab. Click to select Send Invoice and Quote with Email. This shows the email configuration options. Fill in SMTP server, port, username, and password. According to the information obtained from your email service provider. In the content section, email from is usually your email user account. BCC to means blind carbon copy. Fill it with your own email address to get a backup copy of each invoice. Invoice format could be PDF, image, or Excel XLSX format. Request return receipt just marks the email, but the recipients could ignore the request completely. In the email subject and template section, the default subject of invoice looks like invoice hashtag hashtag invoice ID hashtag hashtag. Where hashtag hashtag invoice ID hashtag hashtag will be replaced with the actual invoice number. Click edit to open the email template in a text editor. The hashtag hashtag balance due hashtag hashtag will be replaced with the total due field. You can update the template as you like. Save the email template and return to the settings window. Click apply to confirm and save the email settings. Click send test email. This sends a test email to the BCC to email address. Close the settings window. Click the invoices button to show a list of existing invoices. Select an invoice. You can email the invoice by clicking email on the toolbar. But now we click edit in Excel to review the invoice first. Click the extract slash email button on the invoice worksheet. This emails the current invoice to the client. Both the client and the BCC to email address will receive the invoice email. Let's see what it looks like. This is what the client sees when the invoice email opens in Outlook. Notice that the subject and email body show what we set in Invoice Manager. Double click the attached PDF invoice. The default PDF program opens the invoice. Invoicing Manager installs only one template to your computer. Visit our template gallery at uniformsoftware.com to find hundreds of different formats. Download it to begin your free trial.